welcome to my YouTube channel. This is the first video and I finally expanded out of Instagram. Yes. So for my first video, I'm going to show you guys how I like to do paper marbling with lettering. Hope you enjoy it. Okay, so you'll need a flat bottomed tub that's big enough to fit your piece of paper, the lid or something else that's flat and washable, shaving foam, shaving cream, paper, I'd recommend watercolour paper because it's less likely to crinkle up unlike copy paper, plastic ruler, watercolour paints or food colouring, tools to make your patterns like a spatula or a skewer, tissues, an optional extra is setting spray because sometimes the colour can fade a little bit once it's dried. Now it's on to the marbling. So grab your empty container and start filling the bottom with shaving cream. It's okay if there's gaps because you'll be taking your spatula and spraying the cream around so that the bottom is evenly covered. It kind of reminds me of frosting a cake. Next, grab the colours that you want to use. I'm using Dr. P.H. Martin's Radiant Concentrated Watercolour in Violet and Persimmon. You can use food colouring for a cheaper option and start dripping drops of each colour over the shaving cream. Take your tools and start creating swirly patterns. This is the fun part. Be as creative as you like, but try not to overdo it. You can always stir it more to make it more swirly, but you can't undo it and make it less swirly. Take a piece of watercolour paper and place it gently on top of the shaving cream. Give it a little pat, then slowly lift it away from the shaving cream. Put it down on a washable surface and holding it down using one finger on one corner, take your plastic ruler and start scraping that shaving cream away from you. This is my favourite part, seeing the beautiful marbling effect that's left on the page. Let's see a few more reveals. It's so therapeutic to do this, guys. Let it dry for a few minutes before dabbing off the excess shaving cream with a tissue. You don't want to do this too early because if it's still wet, the colour might come off on the tissue. If you want, you can also go ahead and spray it with the finishing spray. This will lock in the colour and stop any fading. As an extra bonus, I'm adding some brush lettering because paper marbling effects are an awesome background to do for your lettering projects. If you guys want to see a video on how to do brush lettering, please let me know in the comments below. And that's it. Sit back and admire your beautiful and nice smelling work. If you guys want to see more easy artsy craftsy DIYs and hand lettering, please like and subscribe and visit me on my other platforms. See you later!